So I just want to quickly review hydride reduction reactions, and we saw these back in the alcohol chapter as ways to produce ketones and aldehydes to synthesize alcohols, uh, but we're just revisiting here a little bit, and it's just nucleophilic addition of a hydride ion. And, and in this case, with like sodium borohydride here, we're going to have one of the H's break off, so and attack the carbonyl. So just another nucleophilic addition reaction. So and from here, we'll form an alkoxide. We've added that hydrogen that we don't technically have to draw in. We've got the corresponding alkoxide ion, and now we just need to protonate it. And so to protonate it from here, um, you got a couple of different options. With sodium borohydride, it actually is stable enough that you can actually put it in a protic solvent like ethanol. So, and if we do that, then we actually protonate from ethanol. So, and that will actually get you to your product here. So, Actually, I guess we already drew an arrow down, so let's just do it there, and you get your alcohol. So that's how uh, nucleophilic addition with sodium borohydride works, and we'll find out lithium aluminum hydride is very similar, and we'll see one major difference, but uh, in addition to ketones and aldehydes, sodium borohydride will also reduce acid halides and acid anhydrides, uh, both of which we'll learn about in a future chapter. So, but at this point, all you need to know is that it'll turn a ketone into a secondary alcohol and an aldehyde into a primary alcohol. Now, lithium aluminum hydride here, also called LAH for short, uh, very similar to sodium borohydride. So, in this aluminum hydrogen bond, so it has a bigger, greater, a greater difference in electronegativity between aluminum and hydrogen, so it's a more polar bond, which makes it more reactive. So, and as a result, it'll do the same thing sodium borohydride does. So again, we'll turn ketones into secondary alcohols and aldehydes into primary alcohols. In addition, we'll also do acid halides and acid anhydrides, but we'll also reduce esters, carboxylic acids, and amides, as we'll learn in the future. Uh, so for this chapter, though, they look, you know, functionally equivalent. We'll find out in the future there's some things lithium aluminum hydride can do that sodium borohydride can't. There's one other big difference that lithium aluminum hydride, that uh, increased reactivity is I can't actually use it in a solvent that's protic. It would react with the solvent. So, so to protonate here, I've got to do a separate second step with H3O plus here. Um, we call that the acid workup step sometimes and stuff like that. But uh, with sodium borohydride, I can go this route, but I can just do the reaction more commonly in a protic solvent beginning with like ethanol and not worry about it. Not possible with lithium aluminum hydride. Just that much more reactive. No protic solvents allowed.